How's it going guys? So in today's tutorial, we're going to be making a simple procedural dust. Now this is a dust you can add on on top of any material you have going on right now. So what I'm going to show you guys is how to make the material and how to apply it on top of an image texture or any kind of other node group you have going on. But before I get into the tutorial, I'm going to give a quick shout out to Sketchfab. They have an amazing store where you can sell assets, you can buy assets. Go check them out in the description. They're super, super cool. All right, we're back. So hit shift A and I'm going to add a plane and just leave it there. And I'm going to go over to the shading tab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit new here and then I'm going to take this and hit shift D and duplicate it. And this node right down here, this is going to be the uh, surface that the dust is going to be on top of. So I'm just going to give it a nice dark color. It's going to be fine there. And then I'm going to get a mix shader and add that right there and attach this one to the mix shader. It kind of darkens it a little bit. Now let's get in a color ramp to crunch what's going to be going on behind it. So the color ramp here and I did, I failed to mention this is the dust, this right here. So we're gonna leave it at a light color. Now let's go ahead and get this color right here and get a noise texture. Now, if you have the Node Wrangler enabled, it is installed by default. So you can hit control T. Now you can use the object coordinate right here and use the factor of the color ramp. And now we'll see a difference start happening and you can use this color ramp to crunch it in. So we're gonna do that right here. We're gonna bring up the detail and we're also gonna bring up the distortion and say we're gonna bring this down a little bit more. So this is our dust for now. Now we need to sort of flatten it and make it really smooth and really granular. And that's gonna be with a new node here in 2.82, which is the white noise. So right here, white noise and pop that right there. And it's gonna smooth everything as you can see, it's super granular. So we need to get another node to just use a little bit of that white noise, which is a mix RGB. So put that there and we're gonna take this object coordinate and plug it into color two. What that's gonna allow us to do is only use a little bit. So this is with um, this node only being shown and this is with just the white noise being shown. So we're gonna mix them a little bit by using this factor slider and bring it over. And when you do that, you get nice dust or sand, anything you wanna do. And then of course you can bring down the distortion if you don't like, if you just want it to be regular noise, but I like the distortion a little bit cause it kind of gives it that wispy dust kind of look and then you can give it less dust or more dust. Say if you wanna have less sort of like taking down the opacity, you can bring this black portion and start to bring it up and you get less dust. That's how you can do that. And you can even it out with those colors and you can make it more smooth by bringing this factor all the way over to the white noise. So you get a nice dusty surface. Now what's really cool is you can take this, hit control T and say, I wanna add an image. So we'll go ahead and pop in a nice wood image just like this. And now we have some dust on top of our image. You can kind of see it happening if I kind of make it a little bit more evident like that and then say, bring it over kind of like this. And you have a dusty wood surface here. And it works just like that. Always working with this being the dust node and this being the node for the surface. So it's just simple as that. You can apply this to any material you want. So there you go. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something.